Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, I was reflecting on something yesterday. Something that I don't do too often. When I speak on visualization, I often reflect on the future me and how thankful that person would be. And I despise looking in the past, looking too far back. For many reasons. Now, you... You, you can't have that back, you know. Those moments are never coming back. And quite frankly, you shouldn't worry too much about the future. For you may never see anything more than this present moment. Um, there will come a time where um, the uh, present moment will be your last. I just don't know. We don't know when that present moment will be. Uh, you see, um, I was focused, I was thinking about the younger me, the child, the innocent one, skinnier than I am now, much smaller, with bright eyes, naive to the world. And at that point, somebody wanted to protect him. As I've gotten older, and the world pressed upon its expectations, and I was forced to defend myself. No one else, and everyone else retired from from doing such a thing. Obviously, the the people who care about me don't want things to happen to me, but they have to defend themselves. They have to take care of themselves and their kids, and now I have to take care of mine. And and as I'm recording this video, you know, I just came to the conclusion that I really have to still, I, ha I have to, not still, but I have to now protect that child. Now that child, you may think that that child doesn't exist anymore because look at me, my face has hardened. Okay, my teeth have taken beatings. My hair is starting to come out. I don't have a full head of hair anymore. I got two gray hairs on this side. And obviously you see all of this and this. My voice has gotten deeper even though I think I sound like a teenager. People may say I'm young in the face. I'm still aging. So, protect the child then. What does that mean? As I can sometimes see my younger self in this face before I had all the scars, before I had all the pain, before I started doing, committing crimes and started doing wrong by my people, sometimes consciously. One thing about me that I think separates me from a lot of people is that I think my inner child is still alive. Definitely not as robust as I would want it to be, as I would want him to be, but he's still around. I let him take over from time to time and the benefits are substantial. You know, I, I, I put together a, a, a list of of things that you should conspire with your inner child to do, um, to embody. Because that's a funny thing, man. Through all of this depression and trauma, hustle and bustle, running game, trying to get laid, you know, or, you know, throwing out the net, trying to see what you can catch, you know, throwing out the bait. We only want to get back to where we once was, man. We, that's that's all we really want. So, let me speak on these things. Uh, I didn't take too much notes. Like I, I got a little bullet thing. So, the first thing is to be at play. Now, you might not always be able to do what you want to do these days. I mean, that was even the case when we were children. You know, we get dragged into church. You know, we have to go to the doctor's office, whatever. 
be at play, all right? Before you know it, this life will be over. And what's to come next, I still can't say. But what I can say is that if you rob yourself of your joy, thinking you're holding it off for a future date, you may not ever have joy. You may live life in pain. And I can be pretty hard-nosed. And, uh, you know, I won't eat, I quite literally won't go out to see the sun to smell the roses. But I understand this, man. Especially with with my baby. I have a child and I have a stepson who's eight. And they like to play without too much worry of the world. And And it sucks knowing this, but someday the world may come and take that joy out of them. Through whatever circumstances. If only I knew that when I was a child. I would have. Taken it all in. You know. I wouldn't have spent those school days. Waiting for the the bell to ring to go home. You know. I probably wouldn't have spent so much time. Watching television. But if I did. You know. I would really just take it all in, man, and just really enjoy it, and not just settle, not just settle for things, but to truly be at play, to dance around, to say, you know, as an adult, like, man, what an incredible day, I don't have everything that I want, man, but inside me, I have everything I need, I have the resources, to get me to where I, I want to be. And I think you should never put. Um, the opportunity to be at play. On the back burner for too long. So I really do like the concept of adults. Playing video games for example. If that brings you joy. It's it's innocent. Okay. So there's a lot of swearing. And, and, thing, and things like that. On. Um. You know, when you're playing online and stuff, it's all it's all cool. It's fair game, man. We all just trying to have a good time. I mean, I'm, I'm talking like I have a game system. Maybe I should get one. But quite literally, man, it's just fun to play around with others. Not even necessarily to forget life and what's going on in life because this is a part of life. Okay? So to have that moment in life, to be joyful... And have a good time. Even you know, even without smoking weed and having alcohol uh in your system for a moment. It's 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 delightful. It's it's the one of the uh, the best things we can get out of life. You know? Just to have that little bit of joy. And we don't and to not rob ourselves of joy by saying, Oh damn, I gotta go to work. Three hours, or I gotta go to work tomorrow or on Monday, you know, just just things like that, robbing ourselves. But in this present moment, we we have the opportunity for joy, we must take it, we must not overindulge. I'll tell you something, I was writing a poem yesterday that made me think about it. Um, it's it's called Inner Child, and um. I was basically saying I go to war so my inner child can run wild. So, something like that. It, it, and, and it's so true. Obviously, you know, we got to go to bat. We got to go to war. We got to go hard so we can make that opportunity for our inner child to live out his or her fantasy. Wow. It really hit me, man. And when it comes to children, we meet them with such resistance you know, when they do things that we deem to be annoying, they want to bounce around, jump around, and things like that. That's what we love to do. So we meet them with resistance because the the stress and the obligations and the, the, the compromises that come with being an adult has, has kind of kidnapped us. It's taken us away from doing those things, man. But had we not experienced such things to take the the joy out of us, out of us, 
we wouldn't be trying to tell a child to not be a child. We wouldn't dare wish adulthood on our children. So why? You know? We And also, we'd probably be bouncing around with them. And then when we do have those moments of clarity, when we do feel good, when we're open for joy, it doesn't matter when the kids are bouncing around and things like that. In fact, we encourage it. We, you know, we, we be a part of it. You know, that, that's, that's life at its best. Um, that's, just, that's just something I, 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 uh, that I think about. And I, I think I said this in, in one of my previous videos. But I was just talking about on Facebook how I was so stressed. You know, on, on Father's Day because I was being a father. You know, my daughter was just stressing me out, man. I felt like it was a ball and chain. And somebody said to me, see the you in her. And that really started a ripple effect, man. Because I'm like, I obviously love my daughter. Why am I so annoyed? And then I came to the same conclusion that I just said. But to see the you in her, that, re that really hit me. Because there is a lot of me in her. Not only because she's my child and not just because she's a Taurus like myself. But because she's revealing to me that which I had lost grasp uh, uh, on. You know, it's it's uh, it's full circle. I'm having the opportunity to be able to live out some of the things that I loved living out when I was a child. Now, obviously, she's only one year old, so there isn't too much going, uh, you know, going on. But very soon, we'll be able to watch cartoons together. We kind of already do that, but. You know, go to Chuck E. Cheese, whatever, whatever kids like to do. Just run, just run wild and use your imagination. You know, and um, to see myself in her, it really does bring some relief to me. It brings some joy. It brings some peace. You know, I'm not always going to have this moment. There may soon come a day. There may come a day where she's like. Dad, I, I don't feel like, you know, she may see me as annoying. Like, Dad, will you go away, please? Or, you know, just things like she doesn't want to hang around me. And now, you know, and I've been getting upset because she want to crawl on top of me, you know, pull on my beard and, you know, wake me up. You know, I, just, I should be grateful for that, man. I should be grateful for the opportunity to be able to play, especially with my child, you know. As Father's Day just passed. Um, so explore. Alright, that's my that's my next point. But I think I found a way to tie it together together is that you just explore and live a life of, of great wonder and go into things with curiosity and not necessarily uh, from a standpoint of I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Those are dangerous words. Powerful words that I heard that any man who knows anything knows he knows nothing at all. And that's very true. The thing about being uh, a child and exploring, they ask a lot of questions. I mean, you would hope that they do. You know, you ask questions. You ask better questions. That's how you get to learn about the world. And hopefully... When that child asks a bunch of questions, it is not met with someone telling them to not ask questions. Because that stunts the growth process. Very much so. It doesn't matter if it's annoying. If you understand that asking questions is one of the most mon monumental things that you can do in regards to your growth, why would you try to stunt the growth of your very own child or any child? Okay? Embrace the opportunity to teach. To set your children up for something better than you've ever had. But for yourself, continue to ask questions. And like I learned from a millionaire, uh, this is Onik Segal, Singal, whatever, I, I think that's his name. I, I met him because uh, he lives, he lives uh, close by, he lives in Maryland, and he was he was telling me of something that he learned from Tony Robbins, 
and um, ask better questions, direct, specific questions, okay? Even the questions that don't seem like they may have a bigger purpose, just ask, man, whatever comes to your mind, you know? Saying, you, you know, Google is a throwaway, you know, Google it, Google it, you know, but for real, use your resources, use the library, you know, Kindle, all of that, use your resources, and explore, and learn to embrace uh, the exploration, and it's okay to be lost, okay, you don't want to get stuck too much in, this is who I am, and this is all I will be. You don't want to get caught up in those things. Be lost. You know? Leave your own leave your own marks. You know, lead your own trail. It's okay. Like don't get caught up in these highlight reels that they're feeding you on social media. I keep telling you these things. It's very important. Alright, so the next thing is to forget. You know, children, man, they just short term memory. They move on. Move on to the next one. You know, they can quite literally fight with their siblings and their friends. Not even two minutes later, they're playing. Now, let bygones be bygones, man. You know, if if it's something that's truly forgivable and or forgettable, then leave it alone. If it's not serving you to hold on to, then let it go, okay? Holding on to pain is hurting you. And quite frankly, it can hurt others around you can push people away but you have taken on this victimhood you know the world owes you something the world and fucked you using that logic that's the case for all of us then man that's the case but we have to move on the best way possible and seek seek greener pastures there's more world out there there's more life to be lived there are better things to explore you know, to be, you know, so we can be at play. You know, time, time, my last two points together. Oh, you know, forget, forget, forget about it, man. And how do you do that? By st- sticking to my first two points, you know, to be at play, to uh, explore, take, send yourself on a, an adventure. Give yourself something more to look forward to. Something that forces you to dream. It's okay to dream, man. Use your imagination. You let everybody else around you, you know, leave their imagination alone. You know, it's probably already dead. It was probably dead since they were a child. I mean, I don't know. We can't save them all. But if you do have any bit of your inner child in you, if you do have any bit of that imagination, it's time to optimize it. It's time to let it free. Okay, it's very imperative because I think if our inner child isn't alive, we're basically dead or dying. Come on now, what, what, what's life without the inner child? What is it? It's gray in comparison to the bold colors that life has to offer. All right, notice all of the beauty around you. So the next thing is to create. I remember when I was a child, this is very interesting. I started I started doing this in the first grade. I you know, I would take X amount of paper, you know, get nice and straight, fold it in half, work on the cover, and pretty much start with a once upon a time. You know, I try to make a book. Now look at me. I've written quite a few. You know, link link in the description. And, I mean, they definitely aren't childlike books, I would say, completely. A lot of it is to undo the, the, the downside of being an adult. You know, being mis- misled by ourselves and others. And yada, yada, yada. But that's what the child me wanted to do. I remember when I was in third grade and... Um, I don't know, it could have been during math or reading. It didn't matter. While that was going on, I was trying to write my own book. The same concept. You fold it in half and you try to work on that. Uh, And the teacher would take it away from me. I remember that happening at least once. But I've always been kind of 
inclined to create. That that's the that's the thing for me. That will allow your imagination to run free. But we often start our process by worrying about how other people may receive it, what other people may think. But this is your world, my friends. It's like a child at play. They're in their own world, okay? I was perfectly fine with playing uh, with the Hot Wheels and uh, um, the action figures, Power Rangers. Uh, doing it by myself, coming up with my own stories, okay? And I still do that in a, in a much more adult sense. I'm not playing with toys. Sometimes I play with Beyblades. That's still fun. Uh, playing with uh, my, my stepson. Hopefully when he get older and he learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh or something, man, look, I'm back at it. What's up? I'm back at it. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, man, just create. In the adult world, it looks like creating opportunities for yourself and for other people. Creating videos like this, okay? And, you know, writing poetry, creating music, books. All of those things, man, is what we're meant to do. We are creators. Now, I'm not a Christian by any by any sense, but by any stretch of the imagination. But it even says in the Bible, my Christian friends, that it says, Ye are gods. You are gods, okay? And gods create. You know, the whole six days and rest one thing, that's for you. Create. Create and then have a you know, have a rest day. On a Saturday or a Sunday. Recharge and get right back to it. It's supposed to be your natural purpose. It's not supposed to be something that you think about. It's not supposed to be something if you, you know that you consider doing and maybe you won't. No, this is what you're supposed to do. Okay? A lot of us are unhappy because we are not creating. Okay? Simply put, you can't tell me nothing. All right? Now, I know I was talking earlier saying, you know, any man who knows, da 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 But, I just know this for a fact, man. I just, it's hard for me to feel joyful when I'm not creating, man. You gotta create something, even if it's just perfect images in your mind. In fact, I would like to say that we're always creating. It's just, are we consciously creating? And are we creating something that we are proud of? Are we creating Are we creating something that the future us will be happy about? Are we creating something that our inner child would love? You know, are we letting our inner child in on uh, the workings? You know, are we letting them have a say in what we do? And this is re this is regardless of, of of what you choose to do. I'm not saying oh because you let your inner child run wild you can't be, you know you can't be an adult you can't do adult things. That's that's definitely not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you got to let the child in. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you got to let the child have a little drink at the cookout if you know you know what I'm saying. You know, have a beer or something, have some wine. Um, that, that's all I'm saying. And the last thing is to be innocent. Okay, I don't really know how I got to this point, but Practicing innocence and doing right by people is just probably one of the better choices that I made, man. So I could be able to sleep at night knowing that I wasn't, if I did harm somebody, it wasn't because I was trying to or I felt attacked is most of the reason why I actually do attack people. But I like, but I believe in karma and I don't want any bad karma. I don't want any bad blood, okay? I'm not trying to get over on anybody. When it comes to women, I'm not trying to take anything away from them. I'm not trying to manipulate them. I'm not... I don't have any ulterior motives, okay, because I have a daughter. And even before that, I grew up watching my mom get the shit beat out of her. She jumped from man to man, and none of them respected her. I didn't have a father figure. So I want to be a, re I wanna be a real man, okay, w whatever that means for me. And I just want to be as innocent as a child. Now, I won't be because of the thoughts that's, that are in my mind, but I would still practice the ways in them, you know, just living a righteous life. Uh, living by my own code and, and just going from there, man. So practice innocence. Tell the truth. It's okay to tell little white lies, I would say. You know, if you want to get out of work or whatever. Whatever. That's up to you. But be honest, man. 
I once I once was uh, I once heard that I don't remember who said this. I don't know if it was Rob, Robin Sharma or not, but um, I remember this person saying that when you lie, it lowers your self esteem, and that's pretty that's pretty powerful, man. So I'm just gonna leave you with that message, and I hope you all have a good one. I hope you really got something out of this. Um, I get kind of emotional when I think about the younger me. You know, shirts that don't fit, that do kind of too big, and snotty nose, and ashy knees, and eating jelly sandwiches. And, you know, that, that, that boy has come a long way, and he's still inside me. He cries. He cries a lot. And he wants me to feel. And he wants me to play. He wants me to experience joy. And I want you all to experience joy, too, no matter how rough your life is. You can always find room for play, okay? If people can crack a smile in prison, you know, joke around when they at, at chow at lunch, um, or on the court during recess. If that's that's what they call it, I guess. You know, your activity time. Then you can too. That job is nothing, man. That job can't take away your soul. It can't take away your spirit. It can't take away from your freedom. Can't take away from your willpower. You have it all in you, man. You just have to be playful. Be playful, but don't, you know, be playful and be childlike, but don't be childish. Okay? Always aspire for more because you have it in you to aspire for more. You need to know these things in order to operate on a higher frequency, in order to make better decisions. That's all I'm saying. All right, take care, folks. Much love.